In this world first study at Edith Cowan University, we're looking at whether dairy fat can actually have a beneficial effect on kids' health. So traditionally, after a child turns two, our dietary guidelines recommend that they have predominantly low fat dairy products. This guideline is based on some assumptions. So firstly, the full fat dairy has more um, kilojoules and more energy in it than low fat. So there's a bit of a concern that that might lead to increase of, of obesity in kids. And the second reason is that the type of fat in dairy products is mostly saturated fat. And when we look at studies that have examined saturated fat as a whole, we can see that there's an association with increased bad cholesterol. But not all saturated fats are the same, and there could be something about the saturated fat in dairy that actually has some potentially beneficial health effects. What we're doing with the Milky Way study is running a good quality dietary trial so that we can determine whether full fat products may have some additional health benefits over low fat products. We've got kids coming into the university to do a baseline assessment and we get information from them about their baseline health and diet. And then we do a randomisation. So some kids will be randomised into the full fat dairy group, some kids into the low fat dairy group. And we're actually going to be delivering these products to their houses on a regular basis. So they get all their dairy provided. Now, the key with this study is that it's a blind study and that means that the families receiving the products are going to be receiving them in plain packaging so they won't know whether their child is in the low-fat or the full-fat group. And this is a really good way of doing a study so we can help reduce the potential bias. The health of the children will be measured in a number of different ways. We're looking at their heart health by investigating their blood lipids and blood pressure. We're also really interested in their gut health. So by using stool samples, we're able to look at the type and amount of different bacteria in their gut. We're also looking at their body composition and their body strength. And this gives us a really good picture of the child's overall health. So parents want to make sure their child has the best nutrition possible to help them with their growth and development. I think sometimes parents find it really confusing when they're at the shops in front of the dairy section and there are so many possibilities. So we really hope that the results from this research will help guide them to what's the best choice for their child.